my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love readings yes we are a bit behind i want to apologize as we are um currently for those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations now is the time to reach out as we're quickly booking for the month of june and july just putting it out there letting you guys know all right this is going to be for pisces sun moon rising and venus for the month remaining of may going into june 2020 now your first card here pisces is taking risk second card is enlightenment and illumination okay Partners cards is Simplicity, Voyage, and Diligence. Okay. All right, my lovelies. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a partner that is either currently away or perhaps will be taking some type of trip. This could be connected to their finances. Uh, this could be connected to the way they make money. Um, but what they're saying here is, Pisces, for the remaining of the month going into June, taking risk is something that is going to be necessary. For some of you guys, this could just represent uh, something as simple, as simple as stepping out of your comfort zone. For others of you, it could represent um, actually taking the initiative uh, to connect with your partner on an emotional level, perhaps trying to ignite the passion or the spark in the relationship. With the Enlightenment card and Illumination, I do see you guys um, really trying to connect on a spiritual level with your partner. For some of you guys, it could be as simplistic as having conversations about soulmate connections or a soulmate type of energy. Uh, for others of you, it could represent really not so much on a spiritual level, but trying to get to know your partner on a deeper level. Um, and that sometimes is extremely necessary for Pisces. Sometimes uh, if you feel or you've been feeling like you're a bit disconnected with your partner, it could be because there is an emotional need uh, to have, you know, that closeness, that bonding uh, time for one another. And I think that that's going to be very important to maintain for the remaining of the month going into the month of June. Now, your partner has simplicity, having the choice or the want or the need to keep things simple, to not, uh, you know, bring in drama from family members, not to have to deal with none of that, you know, extra BS that sometimes, unfortunately, in partnerships, we kind of have to deal with. What they're saying here is that simplicity is what's on their mind. They're wanting peace. They're wanting uh, really to not have a very chaotic type of energy around them or even the people that they've been dealing with. Perhaps you've noticed that your partner recently has been pulling away, perhaps being a little bit more uh, an, an introvert. Not necessarily that that's their personality, but it could be that they're kind of like not wanting to deal or perhaps not wanting to be around other people. Of course, it could be the social distancing. Um, but what they're saying here is that they're going more within themselves and they're trying to uh, plan out for the future, uh, really putting out their intentions. For some, it could even be actually taking the initiative to pursue a new goal, a new aspiration for them. The voyage card could signify, like I said, travel, but this can also represent uh, being able to come out of this cycle going into a new beginning and with this new beginning really having a focus or some type of uh, goal that they're trying to achieve whether it be on a uh, profession whether it be financially whether it be on an emotional level perhaps a goal that they come to you and they tell you perhaps this is something that we need to do integrate in our everyday life and again i think that center stage is going to be the physical connection that is needed so for some of you guys, it could be that you've been away, like I said, from a distance. For others of you, it could just represent that, you know, the everyday routine life just gets really busy and crazy. So there's not a lot of sexual energy here. But what they are saying is that for the month of June, I see both you and the partner going out of their way to connect, to uh, come together, not just on a physical aspect, as well as in an emotional level. And diligence, again, really wanting or talking openly about goals that you're wanting to achieve in, a, in the partnership. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, this could represent a person that you're dealing with that perhaps is at a distance or they travel for business or how they make money. 
and there may be some type of like feeling even if you're just currently dating uh, really missing them really thinking about them and what they're saying here is that this person uh, has a structure has a specific uh, perhaps even a different lifestyle than yours and what they're saying here is that you need to not be quick to make decisions or to cut them off just because they're not particularly or they don't carry a particular lifestyle that you're used to or that you would be more comfortable with. What they're telling you here is keep an open mind and it's okay to be out of your comfort zone sometimes. This can actually lead uh, to a potential long-term relationship. Now, for those of you guys that I, like I said, that are completely single and not dealing with anyone, what they're telling you here is that there has to be a need for you to pull away from people from your past, that means including exes, not dealing with them anymore, to be able to bring in new energy, to be able to completely end that chapter and begin a new chapter. You got to step out of your comfort zone, Pisces. And for the remaining of the month, for some of you guys, this could even include like making decisions about uh, business, about where you work, about um, even moving or changing uh, residency, that type of energy. But always know if you get to a point where you're extremely stressed and worried about the outcome speak to spirit and let them know to guide you they are definitely around you i see a lot of spirit uh guides being around you and trying to open uh pathways to uh the path that you're leading so again uh, keep an open heart and an open mind pisces all right my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon bye